Welcome back. I mean, like they... position five that gives you control and that is good against Naga Siren. Choose your hero. Mm. I think I'm liking what EG's got over here, overall here because this Naga does look like it can just take over and they have such good stall mechanics and they have great ways to fight us for. Again, going back to his time on EG, he used to always love to play Bounty Hunter himself and then Crit would be on something more aggressive like even say an Earth Spirit or a Tusk. And he loves to pioneer this dual strong support meta. Uh, Pilot Eye playing a lot of Undying, oh. now on Clockwork. Same Top thing. Lane. Misery looks a bit of a spot of bother. Is Crit sending him down for the trees. Misery does survive a little longer with the sound, but Crit will still find him. First blood for EG. Ace there trying to put the meta to ward them off. And oh. That's the, the experience of Pilot Eye. Decade long career. To know that that might be needed, but unfortunately, that youthful precision yep. is lacking. So GPK survives. Bit of a go on to Ramses. They've got to be careful each time they do this. You know, anytime you try making an aggressive move onto the Venomancer, he's just going to turn and spew his poison right back at you. And that's enough to just click somebody to death, especially if they don't uh, have uh, enough damage. And now the Arcanerian being camped, it's likely going to go to GPK. Nope, they'll force it off. Yeah, pop Pine. back. Well, they do manage to get him right into the reaches of GPK. GPK turns with the Vortex, drags back Pi. A few hits here with the Overload will do nice. it. Pi's down, four kills now for EG. Top lane, aggressive move on to Ramses. This time Ramses is alone, so Misery and Ace will be able to find him with that meta. So finally, five men able to get themselves a kill on the board. Mid lane, crap over towards Chessie. Pull back from the board, gets into the avalanche. They have the first oh. to get it. They don't oh, the The toss forward. He's going to chase forward, but he'll get it. All part of the plan. Oh my goodness. EG, they're playing fast and furious so far. They're going to come hunting for him here, Misery. Trying to find some sort of way of, of getting in onto Ramses, but proving difficult to do so. Now Crit's found the opportunity to get on top of Ace himself. Goes in, GPK joins the move, and they'll take out Ace there. Ace just not having the backup required. Misery not Whoa. quite close enough and couldn't do anything to help. I'm not sure I'm a fan of this build on Chessy either. Three points into his Q, going for lane domination, and okay, he'll dominate Fly, it looks uh, like. It's, it's going to be a bit of backup though as Ramsey steps in. Pylai Dai is going to dive in past the tier one to look to finish off Fly. We'll get the kill, but now TP is coming in. Pi goes straight out with the TP, but Crit, okay. he's in just in time with the Avalanche, cancels the TP, and Pi will die for that dive. But when you have an Empower as well, you can hit this BKB third item timing and just straight up shred buildings. I think EG's team fight is better, but they don't have that same raw DPS. Because they're going to be able to find this ward here on the cliff, giving them straight up vision. Oh, they're going to be able to get the Sunder off, but still heavy amounts of magical cook damage coming out to Pi. Pi, he's in with the save, or at least try to. GPK's got the last little bit of mana. He's in, he finds Ace, but the Sonic Wave comes out for Chessy. Get GPK in return, one for one. Crit with a final toss up and the poison from Ramses. They'll kill a second. As EG, they got what they came for. Five men's moves in their tracks. You have better catch because you have this tiny blink, and it's effectively just the supports from five men that can make plays. Jesse blinked in on it. Whoa. That's going to be an easy opportunity for Crit. He goes for it straight up. Jesse there, sort of tunnel visioning on the route, not expecting EG to be waiting there for him. And now Pi, he's got a little bit too close to the sun as well, trying to fight in. He's using a hook shot to keep himself safe. It's going to work. The curse here, holding back Ace on the high ground. Pi still goes down, but Zippy, he's able to skewer in, get the opportunity for the RP onto GPK. But on the back lines, Crit's in once more, will be able to finish off Ace. Zippy goes for the TP out, will make it away. Still everything going EG's way there. GPK isn't really going to get locked down by Pilot Eye. Nobody really cares about his hero at this point. And uh, you're going to have some major damage issues. He's going to try and have a poke onto Ace. I mean, this time around, Ace. Now he's not going to die to the burst of Crit alone. Crit, you know, he's just having a bit of fun with them, poking around. It'll almost certainly cost him his life as he's going to try and run away. Another toss. Oh. He's like, Ooh, nearly. And now it has pulled Ace into a bit of a precarious position, but I say that Pi's there, offering up the target. It's now GPK in this trap, but he is able to get himself out of the cogs. Curse as well, just controlling this cliff area, making it hard for the rest of five men to get in. They turn over towards the clock. Chessie has a DD, throws out the dagger on to fly. EG with the four of them, poking back at Chessie, blinks back up. Gets himself away. Misery will end up ticking out to the damage of Ramses. It's in four for GPK. Still got mana to chase down. Chessy blinks along. Caught out for a couple of seconds. He's caught by the ensnare. Oh, the oh. RP, Zippe, he's trying to help, but Chessy's already dead. They get GPK, but now with the blast, the coming out onto Zippe. Arteezy could chase down the Magnus. A double kill for Arteezy. EG just continue to win these fights, and that's three times now back to back. I mean, 
And that's the way to play it. It's about map control, not being able to purge somebody. You're going to kill somebody because of the net, not the diff you. I mean, we're going to see them, them come out with a smoke now, five men. I mean, they, they have to do this. They've got to make sure that they make a move with Chessy that just doesn't end up with him blinking into a position that EG can turn a collapse on him. They find oh, a big wow. catch, though. RTZ separated from the rest of the team. This time, they'll do it, five men. Sonic wave out, and RTZ's gone. Doesn't matter who his captain is, whether it's Eternal Envy, Misery, Puppy, Pile I die. It's going to play like yeah, Pile I die. He still hears the voices of them. Oh, okay. it's, it's commanding, and there's mid lane. GPK is going to look to zip in, silence up. Screw across, zip in, trying to look for RTG. The RP does get the two of them, but the, uh -oh. first, the cold embrace response from Fly puts the whole play to an end. Zip in, trying to run, but he's surrounded by the RTG illusions as EG again just kill off all of the, the three big ones here. Zip in, trying to run. Fly will find him. One more, it'll do it. Maybe not, actually. He's, the Greaves. He, he's living. The burn's back up, though. As there we have it, RTZ, he'll say that was my kill. Yeah, for five men, I think the... You know, what you're, you're looking towards is just trying to, to hope that Ace can get the items to do something magnificent on the high ground defense. This Terra Blade's got to do something spectacular as for the, the other course for Chessy and Zibe. It's, it's just very hard to get the job done against EG's lineup. Zibet caught out here by the tossback. Will let oh, the nice skewer goal. away, but the Yules cancelled the skewer. Just by time for other TPs to come in. Zibet pops the Greaves. He'll be saved. <laughs> Won't lose the Magnus this time round. Just tank enough with that Greaves pop to survive the attempt here from EG. EG already ready to go back in. Now look up towards Chessy here for a second time. The Orchid upon him. Is it enough? It is. GPK's able to burst him down. Turns over towards Zibe. GPK's playing so aggressive. The curse from Fly is going to catch the three of them. Pylite die falling to his own teammates. GPK's just back across over towards Misery. He's low on mana. Oh, crit. as well. Crit with the control. Keeping Zibe close enough to this storm as GPK He's going to start bottling. He's looking over towards Ace. Ace starting to tick down low. Ace does have a Sunder of Available. GPK finds Zippe in the tree. Zippe, he's going to live a little longer with that Greaves. Once more, still alive. Gets an RP off in time. Does lock the Ramses down under the tower. Will be able to kill off the Venno. There's a buyback from Misery, but GPK is manners back up as he's in with the second life. Goes over towards Ace. Zips in onto the Terra Blade. Ace is dead. Misery also going to die here for a second time this fight. As they just could not fight into the, this age. It's already the struggles just fighting into EG alone. GPK's going to go for the TP out. Chessy's got nothing in terms of the, the, the Orchid rush. And then the fact that EG were able to shut down Chessy three times in a row. He's just not been able to have an impact as a quap. And mid lane. Misery found once more. EG just roaming the map. Yeah, it doesn't look like there's going to be any sign of five men responding to this. They've still got the tier twos up on the side lane, so they can afford to, to let this one go without the the worry of any further damage being done to their base. Just Pi and Ace that, to make their way over there. I'm going to lose the second set of racks if they don't do something soon. The pincer. They're going to try and come in from the backside here. See what they can do. They get on top of Fly. Can they actually kill this Wyvern before he does anything though, Fly? He's able to cold embrace and suddenly Ace can't go for him. Ace turns over towards Ramsey. Skew it forward. Oh, what a stop. song. Arteezy putting the whole attempt to a stop. As Fly's getting ready. Yeah, they've already lost two of their members. Curse out. Onto Ace, will control and Crit, tossing him back into the curse range. GPK zips across, Zibay will pop the RP, but the damage has already been done. Three dead on five men, Ace will fall. They haven't got any buybacks, that's enough for them right now, as five men will tap out. EG to take this game one, and uh, they look pretty darn good. Oh, yeah. This was... Uh... I want something that gives you more kill threat onto TB. I don't, I don't Puck dis like destroys Pan. I've seen the Pucks that come, but they're going to shift, right? Shift they're going to put Nature's Prophet in mid, and he does fine versus Puck. Dropped. And in terms of lanes, is it going to be EG sending the, the Tiny to the mid lane? Oh. So we're going to get to see a GPK Tiny this game. Misery. Screw away here. Uh, he will still fall. That's going to be first blood there for Crit. It kind of goes both ways. You feel, I don't know, are you? Well, okay. Really? I, I go back to TI. A TI8 finals where TB was constantly getting first two by LGD and OG were very confident playing Spectre into it. I mean, that was uh, a long time ago, Carl. That's true. Things have changed. Jesse, mid lane will go down there. GPK. Lane for five men has used at least three extra salves. It's a lot of gold going the way. Look at the Gale in on him and Pi. To build up a fair bit of damage. They've got the rotation as well from Chessy jumping in. Excellent move from. 
from the puck. Chessie Big comes kill. in and takes down Arteezy very early on. Same time down bottom ace. Been in the heat of Crit and Ramsey's another proc there off the passive from Crit will set up Miss for me. that kill. They're gonna try and dive in a bit more for this, but the tower's starting to take hits onto Crit. He'll back away. Uh, EG again, they're, they're just not walking into any of these traps. They're, they're gonna stick around and try for the rune. Chessie will be able to grab it. Picks it up, gets away, GPK. Oh my the high God. ground though is going to look towards Pi. I'm going to be able to find him fully with the toss and the tree toss. Pi will manage to get out, Chessy. We'll go for the dream call onto the two of them. Step back for GPK as he opts to snap it and it will attempt to escape. Crip will go down, but GPK able to live there. Uh, it's similar in a way to limp. Like both players uh, came in here. You know, we're Han boys. We've got our, our superheroes. The trouble is. Oh no. I mean, GPK is just, he's on a roll right now. Finding every single setup that he can. Crit, uh, even gonna roll across, look over towards Misery. Ace the is pop the hall. Maybe they could get GPK, they oh. do catch him with the ETO. They'll be able to bring down the Tiny Fly, drops the ult onto the two of them. Jesse with the coil, holding the three of them up at the high ground. The Stomp as well, catching all four, puts them to sleep. As you can see, you know, just, only one tier one falling on EG's half of the map. Five men just unable to push in onto any objective. GPK with another catch. Keeping his game very good and strong. Here, seven, one, and two. There's actually going to be a buyback from Pi. Crit's coming. The ult from Pi. Not, uh, uh, not <laughs> doing anything at all. I mean, Chessie gets the coin onto the three of them. But RTZ is ready to turn up. He walks over to the fight, pops the meta. The sleep from Pi does hold back RTZ's TB for a moment. But a blink four for GPK gets the vision to set RTZ up for a second kill. And it's same thing. Enable the playmaker. I again point to the to the guy in my view who's been the star of both, both these games. Crit always making plays. Years of dominance as a near on parallel four position. Ace coming in, but the whole but it's a little bit spooky. Uh, but uh, EG, they're not afraid of ghosts. Misery RP. does go for the RP into his own death. The coils out onto the three of them, but there's no follow up. They got fly. Uh, look at his range. How do you fight him? If you get onto Arteezy, that means the rest of the side is a perfect opportunity to just crush you in the corner. That's a Rax. All right. Nothing to, nothing to be done. That time that EG spent pushing, taking tier two, taking tier three, taking Rax. Ace wasn't even able to get top lane into the tier two tower because he's playing Spectre. And unfortunately, oh. that's how it works. But wait. RP in a horn. Uh, Coil as well. Three ults here for GPK. Is it enough? Uh, it looks like it will be. Oh, he's given them the juice with the avalanche. Some lovely moves. Crit's coming in with the backup. GPK does still go down. They do manage to kill him off. Where's the team? Jesse, I mean, he's also chasing in for Crit. Team? Yeah. Now, we're, now we're going to start seeing some TPs coming from EG as they're. Now baiting them into a deeper point. GPK actually buying back, and this was a plan all along by looks of it from EG, the good old Jabate. As GPK buys back, and they'll punish five men straight away for their aggressive dive, knowing with all those ults used by five men, there's very little they could do to fire on into this. Jesse tries to hide, he's got the orb out to the side. GPK, can he chase on for this? Blinks forward. Jesse's able to get the blink out in time. He's going Will for live. it. Ramsey's trying to play for the TP in to block him off. Will find him with the silence. Chessy, he's been sprouted up and controlled. Ramsey's reads his movements perfectly. And this tower slowly going down. I mean, five men, they're coming right out here. They really want to try and take a fight in this position, though. I mean, Zippe, he doesn't even get the chance to pop a single spell. As he's out, Chessy also caught by the rolling thunder. I mean, that. I don't know what, what that was. What trying to fight out by that tier two tower? That, that's still a DD terror blade with meta pops, and uh, other than Pile I Die throwing out stumps, the, where's the where's the deep push toss back? Oh. Does it oh, catch man. anyone with the skewer? Pie's down a little too deep. Pie will fall. It was got the buyback. Oh. back. Offering comes out onto Ace and Zibe. Zibe is blown up. Ace is down as well. There's a buyback available on the Spectre. He will use it. But the rest of his team just getting torn apart. Misery goes down. Another third buyback out from them. The coils out of the three of them. They do manage to burn down Crit RP as well. It does catch up easy. They will get him. They're holding. 
Okay. That's a triple kill for Ace. The buybacks work okay, out. Okay, okay. They managed to push back EG. And the game, it's not going to end. They're, they'll keep it going, Carl. They've managed to hold with those buybacks. Yeah, Elder Titan, I mean, scaling has no problem for five men, but they need to buy another 10 to 20 minutes at least. Sure, now they've got to be very careful with how they lose heroes as buybacks on cooldown. Holy, he has Greaves and Vlads on a four position Pango. Oof. Oh, talk about that man here. They're in onto him. They got the Dream Call onto the turn. They managed to find both of them as Fly and Crit have been found. RTZ and GPK as well as Ramsey's TPing in. Oh, there with backup. Will be misery going down. Ace, he's got to run. Buybacks. Oh, well, nice little shoots here from Ace. Still, they'll find him. And they go with the Rolling Thunder. Metamorphosis pop. They know they take the Spectre out of the game. He's going to have no way of returning. Dead for 100. It's just straight up go in the game. You can get Megas here, but looking at EG and their positioning, maybe you go for Throne? Nope. Yeah, this is so the point of the game, you know, you're EG say, mm. okay, we'll make it slow, yeah. we'll make it painful, we won't rush the finish. Disappointed, the RTZ tanks the stop to Manta Dodge it. Manta Dodge is late, has to sit there and question his actions, but of course they will complete Mega Creeps anyway, and... Yeah, EG just on the high ground, seeing if five men do step into this. Five men, they've got the full lineup ready to go, all ults are available, they've got the team fight. Can they find the, the perfect execution they're gonna need? Roshan getting low, they look to horn in again. Roshan not quite finished off though. EG back it away once more. Chessy, he's got the call down onto crit. They're gonna try and take down the Pango first, but RTZ turns over towards Pilot Eye, beating him back to crit. Oh, Wilson no. High jumps over the swashbuckle, gets the Rolling Thunder off. It's a triple kill for RTZ around the pit. Four dead on the side of five men, and they'll call it. It's a team wipe. Finally, they've had enough. They'll tap out of this one as game two goes to EG. The series is theirs, two to zero. Game one, EG looking to be on fire, and then this second game, it, it just looked like they're on a totally different level to five men.